The purpose of a 403 status code is to indicate that the server understands the request but refuses to authorize it. This is typically used to restrict access to certain resources or pages. In this video, we can check how to fix this error. Okay guys, first you need to check the server is running. For this, you need to run a command on your, wind, on your PC. So first you need to type the command as you are seeing in the video. You can add the ping and uh, your domain.com like this. Once that is finished, you can just add another command uh, trace rt your domain.com okay if these two commands run successfully as you are seeing in the video then you can go to the next step the check the file permissions so you can go to your uh, hosting or whatever control panel you have the hosting control panel go there and you can check the permission of your folder and check the folder like 755 format as you are seeing in the video like this read write execute this format should be like this and check all these are correct okay now on the third step you can clear your browser cache so you can clear all the browser cache cookies etc on your browser so you can go to your uh, google chrome and you can clear all the browsing data and check this is super easy you can just clear all the browsing data like browsing history and all these things you can just clear and another thing is check the htxs file of wordpress so go to your file manager on hosting you can find the htaccess file there you can see our htaccess file is load or how uh, corrupted or something like this so you can go to our website and you can find the default wordpress ht access code you can just copy it and just replace it with the new code like this you can just replace it and you can save it and you can go to your website and refresh it okay now our website is working but anyway we will discuss more things uh, so now if you if that is not worked you can just deactivate your plugin and you can all the plugins and you can just reactivate it now go to the plugins on your hosting and just type on the rename section you can just add a dot test and click on rename and now you can refresh and you can see the changes if it works okay if that did not work you can just deactivate your cdn like cloudflare or whatever cdn you are using just deactivate it for uh, temporarily and you can check it for cloudflare you can go to the cloudflare dashboard and you can see the advanced actions there you can post the cloudflare on site like this as you are seeing in the image you can see you can post the cloudflare on the site if 403 error is still on your pc then you can use a different device like your mobile phone or computer and you can use any different type of network like 3g and your mobile data and you can search on your website so if it is working uh, it is definitely because of your uh, cache memory or wi-fi so you can just turn off your modem for or router for two minutes and reboot it so it will definitely work on your pc okay guys okay thanks for watching the video if you like the video please subscribe the channel